gone for a while. Not that long, a couple days really, but still. Now is the time I make my return. Garbage. Pink boots! It's the pink boots! No, no I, don't, I don't have any pink boots, mate, just white ones. I can't believe this. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. My destiny has been realised. And now, I'm back. Yes guys, welcome back to the United Stand. I'm Sander Seegers, this is Sander on the street. That's Old Trafford. Um, I'm in a full United kit. Whoa, bang. Um, I don't know why, there's no rules. Anyway, what am I doing today? Today, we're gonna be going around asking people what the top three things are that Manchester United need to do to get back challenging for the league again. What are the top three things Man United need to do to get back to challenging for the league again? That's easy. Fire the entire management structure, all of it. From root to stem, get rid of it completely it's a complete mess it's a shambles if you or i did a job like that we'd be fired in the morning what do you think manchester united need to do to become really good again um, fight with other teams other teams <laughs> fight with other teams play with other teams play with other teams so um Ole Gunnar practice. and practice because yes. practice makes perfect doesn't it yeah. um and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the manager do you think he's good or bad good good you like him. And who's your favourite player? David Beckham. David Beckham! <laughs> have you heard of a guy called Sander Seegers? No, 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 I have not. He's a good young, he's a good young um, up and coming like midfielder. Right. Well, centre back, but he's converted to a midfielder. Right. And he's like a proper leader. He's demanding on the pitch. Do you think that sort of player? Well, that's, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's proper, like, he's captain material, I, I think. That. What are the top three things Man United need to do to get back to winning the league again, or challenging at least? Number one, back the manager. Number two, get rid of the Glazers, and then number three follows Woodward goes with him. Right. That's what we need to do. Yeah, so on number one, you think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the right man for the job, why? I don't know if he is the right man, but give him, stop sacking managers. You need to back him, not yeah. sack him, yeah. back him. Yeah. We need, he needs backing. Put some money, buy, you know, get... We've been buying Bruno Fernandes for two seasons, haven't we? Yeah. You know what I mean? Every time we go for a deal, it never happens. Yeah. Back him. Go and get Cavani now. We yeah. need a we need a striker. Pay him what he wants. We're the biggest club in the world, aren't we? And act like it for once. Don't yeah. act like penny. Let's not stop yeah. penny pinching like we've been doing. Yeah. I'm sick of hearing the Glazers have put sort 900 million in. How much have they got back through players they've sold? Yeah. How much have you got on the merchandising? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's all I'm bothered about, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm signing for the club. You mean which? Keep, keep it down. I'm the new signing. Uh, I'm no idea, actually. I'm the new yeah. player. A new, new player, right? Keep, keep. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not. Uh, yeah, no, no problem. Before, I know. Have you heard of me before? I heard uh, Manchester United. United, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, have you heard the player Sander Seegers? Second, not really. I, I do. I plays in the German. Well, I used to play in the German league. Question, right? What are the top three things that Manchester United need to do to get back challenging for the league again? Goals, <laughs> goals, goals, and goals. Uh, Is that signings? Signings, yeah. We need. I think we need a forward. We need a uh, attacking midfielder as well. Yeah. Um, Who could that attacking midfielder be? Grealish, Madison, maybe. I prefer Madison. I prefer Madison, um, and then uh, we need defence. We need someone else in defence as well. Right. So we have Williams there on the left. He's playing for not, uh, uh, brilliantly, but yeah. I think we need someone else to strengthen the back four. Yeah. And is Ole Gunnar, is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the, the right man for the job, or do we need to bring in someone like you know Pochettino or someone like that? I prefer Poch, but you have to give him a chance. Is he give him a chance? Is he the right man? I don't know, but we'll yeah. see. We'll yeah. see. And finally, Edward Wood, the Glazers, you know, people like that. Yeah. Uh, can we be successful? under the ownership of the Glazers and under the board of Ed Woodward as the chief exec? I think the Glazers are fine, but I think Ed Woodward, they need a, a shake-up there. They need someone else. They need someone else just to bit of a fresh eyes on us. Uh, yeah. We'll bring in better players and manage their recruitment a bit better as well. Yeah. I'm now coming over here. Oh, really? Yeah. This year? Yeah. Well, now. Like, yeah, I'm I'm I've, just, I've just been in to speak to Ed Woodward and Solskjaer. Cool man, cool and man. so, um, yeah. I'm, yeah. You can have a good uh, season. Or? Yeah, thank you so much. No problem. Yeah. Cool thank man. you so much. I hope to see you in the stands one day and I'll be uh, scoring for you. It's very cold. 
Man yeah, I know, but you know, what you do to be a United player, right? What are the top three things Man United need to do to get back to winning the league or challenging at get least? Get rid of Pogba. Get rid of Pogba first. Get rid what, of why is that? He doesn't want to be at the club. He's he's injured again now. Where I don't believe it. I yeah. don't really think he is. I think it's just he doesn't want to play for the club. Yeah. So get get a bit of money for him and get new players in. There's Jack Grealish there. Yeah. James Madison. They are two players that they should be going for. Yeah. Solskjaer as well. I feel sorry for him, but he's not the man. He's just not. He's not the man. Dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> he he has to go as well. So who would you bring in? <sighs> At the minute, it's more than him that's the problem. So I think no matter what manager comes in, it's still going to be the same. So problem. then, so then, should we have? Should we then get rid of Solskjaer if he's not the problem? Well, get rid of him and many more. It's yeah. I'd keep him. I'd I'd still give him a chance though. But I think I don't believe that he is the man to take right. the forward. But at the minute, I'd look to bring in a director of football or something. Director of football. Transfers are a joke. What are the top three things Man United need to do to get back challenging for the league again? Uh, need new player. Need new player? Who? Who? I think Messi, maybe. Messi? <laughs> I think that would be a good signing as well. Thank you so much, sir. Amazing. It's like Inception. We're filming each other. It's fantastic. Have a great day. Right then, everybody. I hope you did enjoy that video. I certainly enjoyed filming it, although, tell you what, I'm absolutely freezing it's about five degrees outside anyway it doesn't matter right it seems like most people think that things need to change from the top to bottom starting with the glazers and ending with players like you know paul pogba and andreas Pereira. um i certainly would agree with that i'd say stick with Oligan and solskjaer um and for me the fish stinks from their head doesn't it ed woodward the glazers they are the people that need to go bring in a proper ceo bring in proper set of owners that actually invest in the club rather than take billions out of it every year and then we'll see probably start to see some change but but um, anyway, I hope you did enjoy that. As I said, do like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week.